and precipitate reaction. Those precipitate, that's a lot of extra keys. Those precipitate reactions are actually something you know how to do already. That's where you take the two reactants and you like mix and match and make products, okay? So that's the one thing you know how to do. Then we're gonna do some things with redox reaction. That would be the fume hood pour, so hopefully that gets fixed soon. We're gonna do some solution math. And we will end with titrations, which is my favorite lab. You're gonna love it. So almost everything starting today is going to be brand new for you. There will be two things, the precipitate you already know, and I think Mrs. Soli taught you net ionic equations. That is the one other thing that you'll know. Yes, it is. Okay, some vocab. Solutions are homogeneous mixtures, two or more things. The solvent is the greater amount. If the solvent is water, we call it aqueous. Water doesn't have to be the solvent. Sometimes some alcohol is the solvent. We would do ALC. For the most part, 99% of the time, our solvent is going to be distilled water. We will be making aqueous solutions. Yes? What's homogeneous? Homogeneous means you cannot see the parts. Um, the part that's in the lesser amount is called the solute. A lot of times our solute is a solid, it's a powder that we're mixing in the water, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a gas, like your soda. The solvent is the water, the solute is a carbon dioxide gas. So the gas is dissolved into the water. Okay? We are going to be drawing a picture on the blank sheet of paper. So get this out if you didn't grab them, go grab one. This is going to get tucked in with your notes, so at some point you're gonna to need to three hole punch it if you didn't already. We're gonna be drawing a water molecule and writing things about it. So my suggestion to you is to like draw it relatively big. I'm a big writer, so I like filled the whole page. If you're a little writer, try to write big for this part here so you have room to label stuff. Our heading is gonna be water. Water has an oxygen atom bonded at an angle of 109.5 degrees, actually 105.5 degrees, to two hydrogens. You need to draw it angles like that. That shape is called vent, and that bond angle is very important. Oh, I'm color coding. Come get pens, pencils, <laughs> markers. How many colors? I may use all of them. Oh, wow. That was really important. Thank you, Richard. I really appreciate it. Can't wait for it. Can't wait. Oh, the In a covalent bond, there are two electrons being shared. Okay, and by being shared, I mean like a timeshare, not like you can split an electron in parts. Also, an electron is not a thing. Electron is just energy. It's a wave, right? So if I'm saying Jonathan and I are sharing electrons, it's not like jelly beans, like he gets a jelly bean, I get a jelly bean. It's more of a timeshare thing. So most of the time, because I'm obviously bigger and stronger than you, I have the electrons. I have oh, the energy. And he has a smaller share of that energy. Yeah, something like that. Actually, it's less than that. But, I mean, if we were playing this game. I didn't know where you're going. You're hydrogen. You're like the idiot. It's worse. Idiot. When something has less of a share, Jonathan is positive, which means he doesn't have as much negative electron share as I do. Me, I'm oxygen. I'm bigger and stronger than he is. I have more of a share of the electron's energy, that negative energy. So I would get an arrow in a dipole. The arrow shows where the energy is going. Same thing with these two electrons here. 
they're not jelly beans, it's just a share of energy, I get most of that negative energy. So that would be, by comparison, he'd be more positive than I would be. Okay? That? Yeah. What's that little like, line at the start of the arrow? It's a positive sign. So that's because of its shape, because it has this bend shape, creates a top half and a bottom half. A top half that's more negative than the bottom half. Now, is it really top and bottom? No, it could be any direction. It's just the way we drew it is top and bottom. It creates a plane. This bottom half, Jonathan's side, is positive compared to the top half, my side, because I have a greater what's called electronegativity, which means I have a greater pull for those electrons. When the music starts, please make sure everyone around you has two magnets. Two magnets. Ready? Go. Grab the positive side attracts the negative side. The positive side attracts the negative side. 